Really loving this setup. Having a longer desk makes a huge difference. I'm telling you, I'm loving it. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie Lin J. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to become a full stack developer in 2020. Give you some brief history about myself and why i feel like i need to make a video like this i worked as a full stack developer as an intern for three summers and i also worked as a full stack developer for i think a little bit over a year and a half full time so what do you do as a full stack developer everything no literally you do everything when i was a full stack developer there were some days that i was literally programming in c sharp for some server side stuff coding in sql to make sure that the database tables are updated and then i also could be coding in typescript for the actual application that the user interacts with that didn't always happen, but it could depending on what you were trying to accomplish in your sprint. Full stack development refers to the development of both the back end and the front end of an application. As a full stack developer, you'll probably be working in a dev team, so it really depends on what story you assign to yourself. As a full stack developer, you'll be working on the functionality, algorithms, and business logic. When I was a full stack developer, we worked in Agile, so we had a scrum master, a manager, we had about four developers, and we had two quality assurance testers and a product owner. And my job as a full stack developer was to translate the business requirements from the user story into working code. Let's say you were working on an application and you assigned a story to yourself that had some business requirement that says, hey, we wanna be able to add users to a list. As a full stack developer, you're gonna work on that whole page. You'll make an API call to be able to get users, create users, update users, and delete users. So you'll implement an interface, probably a few classes, and then you'll also work on the view that gathers the information from the API call and populates it to the interface. This is a great way to become a better programmer because you'll be able to experience a solution from end to end. So you will know the application better than anyone else. You'll understand the front end, you'll understand the back end, and you'll understand how you store information. I really enjoyed working on stories where I would work on a whole web page because I loved not only building out the user interface, but I also loved understanding how the HTML elements interact with the back end of the application. Those of you who are wondering who should become a full stack developer, everyone i know some of you all are interested in just pursuing back-end development maybe databases or front-end development but my recommendation even though it's a pain my recommendation is to do full stack development the reason being is because you'll actually really appreciate the life cycle of software development you'll also learn a lot and become very valuable a very valuable asset to the company you're working for and a valuable asset to other companies I knew I wanted to become a front-end developer because as a full-stack developer, there were a lot of days where I was just like, I just wanna play ping pong or make any excuse to go on a chocolate milk run. But if you find yourself really enjoying or really excited about building an application from the ground up, so you wanna know everything about the application, you wanna build every part of the application, you're really interested in that, then full stack development is perfect for you. And since we are on the topic of how to become a full stack developer, let's hear a word from our sponsor Skillshare and how they can help you become a full stack developer. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions from all around the world gather together to take the next step in their creative journey. There are thousands of courses that Skillshare offers, so you best believe there are tons of full stack courses. Class topics including illustration, UI, UX design, film and video, marketing, marketing, and of course, software development. Skillshare classes are a combination of video lessons and a class project. So you'll be able to take the skill sets that you learn through video and apply them to a project. And from there, you can take those projects that you've created and finished and put them on your resume. For example, I'm taking a course called Vue.js Fundamentals for Beginners with examples by Bamshi. This is a great course. I'm learning everything from events, 
data binding, two-way data binding, the difference between methods and computing, which are properties within a Vue.js instance. Learning a JavaScript framework like Vue.js, Angular, and React is great to have on your resume, especially when it comes to applying for full stack development jobs. And when you have a solid understanding and a JavaScript framework, you're even more appealing to employers. The first thousand of my subscribers who click this link that will also be down in the description box will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. And for those of you who wanna take the next step in your creative journey, you can get a Skillshare annual membership for less than $10 a month. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about more ways of how you can become a full stack developer in 2020. For those of you who are on the fence or those of you who just have zero desire to become a full stack developer because you just think it's a pain in the you know where, here's why you should learn full stack development. You'll get experience in both the back end and front end. Since you understand the full spectrum of the code base, you can be a one shop stop, not only for the company you're working for, but you could be a one shop stop for your own personal projects. Also, full stack developers are in high demand. Full stack software development is also a really stable job because you know the product better than everyone else. So not only can you help from a technical side, but you can also help from a product vision side and even business side. And if you are a computer science major, most computer science majors get jobs as full stack developers. You'll probably feel more comfortable doing full stack development anyways, unless you have some external experience as a front end developer or just front end development in general, maybe as an internship or through passion projects, full stack development. Full stack development is really similar to a lot of the software development or programming that you do as a computer science major, especially when it comes to business logic, functionality, and algorithms. And as a full stack developer, you're like the bridge between the front end and the back end. Also, when it comes to looking for jobs and let's say you're a full stack developer, you're very desirable. Whether you wanna become a back end developer, a full stack developer, or a front end developer, you have the option of all three because you have experience. So how do you become a full stack developer? Well, if you go the traditional path of majoring in computer science and software engineering, that's probably the easiest way to become a full stack developer solely because you are exposed to algorithms, data structures, time complexity, and you get all the necessary skill sets that you need to become a software developer or software engineer. You want to learn the front end and the back end. Not necessarily an expert in both, I would say when it comes to full stack development, you definitely want to be better as a back end developer than a front end developer. The reason being is because when it comes to your actual technical interviews, they're rarely gonna ask you any front end questions. More than likely, you're gonna be sent some sort of like leak code question to figure out, or you're gonna take some sort of technical assessment before they even call you or even get to know who you are. So it's important to understand algorithms and how to solve technical interview questions. Your front end skill sets will actually separate you from your peers who are applying for the same position. Knowing the front end and having a really nice website or portfolio that hiring managers or recruiters can visit will make you stand out and that will get you the interview. So then you wanna actually understand back end development algorithms, data structures, time complexity to do very well in your interview to get the job. And if you're someone who is a back-end developer or a front-end developer and you're interested in pursuing full-stack development, then ask to be assigned to projects or tasks that require you to program in the front-end part of the application and the back-end part of the application. That concludes how to become a full-stack developer in 2020. Leave a comment down below of what type of software development you're most interested in, what projects you're pursuing, or what type of software development you want to pursue. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if it was helpful at all. Share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd love for you all to become a part of the community. And once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.